Now to a story you're seeing only on four expensive cameras were stolen from a nonprofit based in Boyle Heights. Las Fotos Project puts professional photography equipment in the hands of girls in the neighborhood. NBC4's Gordon Tokumatsu has more on what was taken. Okay, so Diego Torres Caso showed us where the thieves entered the property first sometime late Monday into Tuesday. Um, you can see though that the fencing in this area was clipped. A rear courtyard with a chain link barrier that he thought would be adequate. From there, they busted through the back door and headed to the storage room. Today, fingerprint dust left by police shows empty containers where cameras were stored. Drawers and desks nearby ransacked. It's strobes, it's LED lights, it's um, just tons of lenses and batteries and chargers. Also, 10 high-end cameras, which students here at Los Fotos Project used on photography gigs, such as local events, weddings, and the like. All told, $65,000 worth of equipment from a nonprofit that partially relies on those gigs to realize its bigger purpose. What's lost here? I think what's... It, it's their ability to feel safe to tell their stories. Las Fotos after school classes teach students, primarily of color, most from the surrounding community, about capturing beauty. It connects them to their culture, provides a safe space for them to develop as artists. When someone comes in and takes away your voice, it, it, it hurts. Now the painstaking process of recovering from this loss is already underway. Gigs have been postponed or canceled and managers are trying to figure out how to re-engage with young people who've relied on this place for 15 years. And you can file this under irony. An organization that teaches photography didn't have one thing, surveillance cameras. That will change, they told us, along with other security measures to make sure this doesn't happen again. In the meantime, some light in this story of darkness. Students, past and present, mentors and others in the community are already stepping up to help, going to the Las Photos website to donate. In Boyle Heights, Gordon Tokumatsu, NBC4 News.